Hi guys, I'm Shmi, hello and welcome back to the channel where today is going to be unreal. Behind me is one of the most famous corners of any racetrack across the world, Eau Rouge and Radion, here at Spa-Francorchamps in Belgium, home of the Formula One Grand Prix. Well today, it's a bit of a switch up. Pagania here with their new Arte in Pista program and I'm going to be driving this, the Pagani Fuira R. We're talking 9,000 RPM of naturally aspirated V12, a spine-tingling soundtrack, 850 horsepower, 1,000 kilos of downforce, just over 1,000 kilos of weight. And yes, there's not only one, but a line of the cars, the new program where customers can bring their cars to drive them together. And today, I'm actually about to experience what it is like here on the tarmac at one of my favorite race venues in the world, Spa-Francorchamps with Pagani in the Huayra R. My word, I've driven through radio in a fire hall. How about this for a view then? The four Huayra R's that are here today as part of the Arte in Pista program. The four cars, including three customers and the number one car that we're coming down to here, the factory prototype, which I saw recently at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. But today I'm going to be experiencing it from within. I can't quite believe those words that I am shortly to be driving this. It's the Pagani Huayra race version. The R they first used with the Zonda, the Zonda R and then the Zonda Revolution. Now we have the Huayra are and while it resembles the visual appearance of the Huayra, Pagani's second hypercar model after the Zonda, it is in fact entirely different. The engine, the bodywork, the aero, the interior, you name it. There are going to be 30 customer cars in total and the beauty of the Arte in Pista program is that it enables Pagani's customers to drive them with like-minded drivers, each at the wheel of their own very, very special Italian racetrack hypercars. As you look around this, it's elongated versus the standard car. We have the active flaps as you can see here beneath this rear wing, which is very much inspired by Horatio Pagani's love of the 1960s and 70s sports prototypes, the like of the Porsche 917. Look at how open it is towards the engine back here. The V12 R engine, the naturally aspirated V12 made specifically for this car, 850 horsepower, 750 newton meters, in an engine that along with the six speed sequential gearbox will give the most exceptional sound imaginable and the feeling I just can't wait to share. We need to get away from here though. We've had a few minutes just to take some photos here at Spa-Francorchamps. That's what the Arte and Pista program is all about, heading to the world's greatest circuits. And this is absolutely one of them. And what a view it is. But let's go and find out what this is actually like. Right, let's step in. All right, yes. Okay. Steering wheel feels good. Pedals feel good. We have a warm engine. <laughs> it's nearly go time. Gloves on. Oh, it's going to be lead follow. It's a hot day, fully suited. A little bit sticky and sweaty already. Other glove on. And let's get ready to rumble here at Spa Francorchamps. <laughs> Let's do this then, into first, there we go, right, I'm going down the pit lane in a Pagani Huayra R, this is actually happening, oh my goodness, keep it in first gear, it needs the revs, so we have first gear as we make it all the way out of here, no short, short shifting, excuse my voice cracks, with nerves and excitement. Here we are at Spa Francorchamps. We have the long pit lane here today. I've got the pit speed limiter on at the moment. We're going to be going down through the old pits. Just trying to gauge a sense of the size. Very conscious that it's really loud. So I have to apologize at this stage if I sound completely blown out. Or if it's just too loud to hear anything. We're coming down towards the pit exit to go up the hill at Radio. Six feet sequential. Gonna ease into this. 
take it very, very gently while I work out what I'm doing. Driving up one and a half, all the way up one and a half. Ready to go down the Kemmel Strait at Spa. It's a little bit damp up here. the suspension today, but just easing into this very gently when I get a feel for it, feel for the conditions, feel for everything. My word, what am I doing here? Holy smokes. I've been lucky to drive around here a few times in my Senna, in my 675 LTs, and now I'm driving in Pagani's finest track car. I just hope it's not too loud. We come around towards the end of the warm-up lap. The bus stop, the famous part, down to first gear because of quite how slow it is through here. That's the pit exit. We're going around to the start straight. All right, get the field straight. my first outing and I mean 
That's the steering wheel to happiness, because that was phenomenal. I just need to sit here for a minute, because the intensity of the spine-tingling feeling that you have, those vibrations through the entirety of your body, in a car that's fast, but not overly intimidating fast, like I feel like it's, you know, baby steps in, first stint, very valuable car, but there's so much cornering ability, braking ability, even more throttle, uh, traction settings, ABS, we had dialed down a notch, they can go, well they, we had them in the optimum for slightly damp conditions because it was a bit damp out there, I just don't even, I don't even have many words for this, I need to step out and try and do this in a slightly dignified way, it's never easy. Okay, upper body first. <laughs> oh, slightly easier that way. Whew. My word. Yeah, just a little bit hot and sweaty. That was phenomenal. That was absolutely phenomenal. While we've got the lunch break, it gives a moment just to chill out for a second. The Huayra R's are out for some photo shoots, but the Zonda Revolution is here in the pit garage. And this, certainly the Zonda in its original form, was a poster car for a generation. The Zonda Revolution is the ultimate unrestricted version of that. And this is, of course, the latest of the Zonda race car models. But really, this is what led way to the Huayra R, which we're driving now. And you look at this thing, the Zonda just dialed up to the absolute max. In the case of the Zonda Revolution, the Zonda R before it though, it's more about the add-on aero, the flicks, the extended splitter, the aero that fits over the top of the more regular bodywork when compared to the Huayra R, which has its completely own look, that elongated shape to it, its own body panels, its own different style of doors, the dihedral doors as opposed to your more traditional doors that you had from the Zonda and the gull wings that you have on the regular Huayra Coupe. But seeing this here is so spectacular and it's almost like a shame to have given it a bit of an oversight up to this point, surrounded by the Huayra R's. But yes, we're gonna have a quick bite to eat before it's time to go out again, before it's time in much more dry conditions to push on a little bit harder. And uh, yeah, I'm buzzing for it. While we have a few minutes here in the pit garage, let's have a slightly better look at this phenomenal piece of machinery. The Machina, the car that we have here, finished with the full carbon body. This is, of course, number one, the factory prototype. But we've got the mixture of the satin carbon fiber in the center, the painted livery, the gloss carbon fiber, and all of this aero work around towards the front, because this is full fat race car. Of course, these are large carbon fiber panels, but it helps for saving weight. We've also got a dedicated wheel and tire setup. So we've got a 19 inch wheel made for the purpose, the Huayra R, shod with the Pirelli P0 slick tires. Now, having not spent too much time driving on slicks, it's certainly a bit of a learning experience. Obviously, they take a little bit of time to get heat into them and knowing where that edge of grip actually falls. As we come round, the dihedral doors, of course, these are not familiar from the regular Huayra models. These are new specifically for the Huayra R, revealing the cabin, which as race cars go, is actually fairly luxurious. So have a better look at all of that. You do have the two seats, you've got the carbotanium, the carbon titanium that you have for the shell itself, the monocoque and the roll cage that's fitted into all of that. And as you look over the rear deck, you've got things like this shark fin that runs right over the top, obviously helping with the air management across the car, the way it swoops through here underneath the two layers of active rear wings. Not just one, the two, because you have these lower flaps that are currently up, helps give a little bit more downforce, and you also have these, which are fairly fantastic, the way they're machined. These flaps right on the outside of the wing, helping with some additional downforce. You've got the in canal for the exhaust system, lightweight, sounds amazing, obviously unrestricted, but the big thing with this is allowing it to be free, and we're flanked to either side of the diffuser by these magnificent tail lights that wrap around those openings back there. Really, really special things. Now we're in the active workshop pit garage with all of the cars at the moment. Interesting thing about this though is that there are only three things that it shares with the regular road going Huayra. One of those is the door mirrors, or the wing mirrors, I should say, because they're out on the wings. The other is some of the titanium bolts that are used within the car. The third is the name. It's a Huayra, except it's a completely different Huayra. So the engine back here is the six liter naturally aspirated V12 made by AMG, the car working in partnership with HWA, big history between Pagani and Mercedes-Benz and AMG. Horatio Pagani always 
working and inspired by one man, well, Fangio, who was, of course, one of the most famous Mercedes race drivers back in that era, and hence the connection to all of this, really, which means that the engine feels well, bulletproof, offers immense amounts of power. Yeah, it's a very special thing. Let's come and have a look around the interior a bit more. Inside here then, what a place. Look at the steering wheel. Of course, this is where we've got our controls, radio, drink, washers, turn. This is where you have your ABS and your traction control settings. You have the different pages of the display, your start. Neutral for the six-speed sequential gearbox. But what's interesting is once you've started it with main ignition and fired it up with the start button just here, you then have drive because there's no clutch pedal down at my feet. Drive effectively automates the gearbox for pulling away. When you press that, you've got 15 seconds to then pull away from the line with it automatically controlling the clutch side of things. We do have AC and some of the other pleasantries just make it a little bit nicer on a day like today. And plenty of other things all around because this is full race car. Look at the cage that's all around. Plenty of headspace above me with the seats mounted very low inside this thing. And that startup we're about to have I think one of the cars just getting ready to roar over that. It's such a sharp snap that the rear clam being installed means it's probably time for me to get my lid back on and get ready for another run. There is a whole process to getting ready. Obviously, you need something in your ears, otherwise, it is going to be Get back in and go out. Ignition on, start it up. All right. Gearing up then, make sure my belt's tight. Okay. Right, push drive. Ready to go as soon as they are. Here we go. Right, we've got pit speed on. Basically keep it in first gear. Use the revs. Oh, this feels crazy. This feels absolutely crazy. Out the pit lane at Spa Frankershaw. On the pit speed limiter there in first gear. A little bit excited, a little bit of everything wrapped into one. Woo, we've got AC, and have the fan on or the full AC on, depending which is best. I guess we're going with it off for the moment. I'm going to show my wristband. Pit speed off. And let's get ready. The car has just had two shakedown wraps to make sure it's fully ready to go. So we've got slightly warm tyres as well. As we head out of here.
there at the end of the Kemmel Street. And what's taking too long looking at what speed I'm driving? It's much more about and making sure that I'm very aware of what I'm doing.
we enter the pit, put on the pit speed limiter, although um, with it as tight as it is here, you're not going the pit speed around there. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe what I've just done. Like fast laps, not just laps, fast laps in the Huayra R and it's so welcoming for this kind of thing. Oh my days, into neutral, coast it round. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Oh my days. Is that the coolest thing I've ever done? I mean, it's up there. It's got to be up there. Certainly one of them. Oh. Oh, brain calibration needed. Oh, my word. Well done. That Thank was amazing. You. Amazing. Bravo. That was... Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Guys, everyone at Pagani, Thank you. Thank you, grazie mille. That was... Oh, I scrambled. Brain scrambled. All right. Out I get. There's no dignified way. But body first. Holy smokes. That's one of the coolest experiences I've ever had involving four wheels. One of the craziest cars. The sound, the feeling, everything to do with it. I need to sit down, get some sugar in me. Uh, amazing. Uh, amazing. The sound as these cars come through the hills is from another world. <laughs> as it goes around La Source up towards the end there. And now we get to hear it heading down towards a rouge as you can see the highest points of the circuit over towards the hill at the back there what a place what a place to be here today i'm just listening to the sound through the hills the noise in the background is otherworldly We come towards the end of what has been the most phenomenal day here with Pagani. The Arte and Pista experience, driving the Huayra R. I've driven a Huayra R at Spa and the cars are here in the pit garages at this legendary location. The sound is beyond intoxicating. The feeling that you have through the whole of your body as you drive it. And one of the amazing things is that the viewpoint, while you're sitting inside the car, you've got a low scuttle. There's nothing really in the way. You've got a lovely view out in front of you. The pedals, the pedal set is adjustable. The steering column is adjustable, nice and easy. So whatever you feel like setting up in terms of the car, you can hop in and just adjust it, adapt it and make it comfortable. The power and the mapping you can set it so that you can build yourself up you feel like you can get in and learn the car you feel like you can give it a go you feel like you can push on and i've been lucky enough to drive maybe 12 or so laps here at spa so to go through the motions to go through that progression to go through that learning stage but i think for the 30 lucky customers of these things i mean just look at this car here obviously getting the telemetry downloaded and that's all part of the customer experience that's all part of the program and what Pagani are offering with the cars and in fact the first year of attending these events is included with the purchase and then customers can take part going forwards from there and it's not just the Huayra R's but also the Zondra R's, the Zondra Revolutions and hopefully more cars in the future as well but this no doubt underneath the skin also houses some of the technology that we're going to see in the next generation car into the C10 that should be launched before long. Today has blown my mind, today is certainly on my short list of most epic experiences at the wheel of a car. Driving a circuit like this, in a car like that, and just, I don't know, feeling it all. This is emotion. This is emotion, and this is something that I don't think we're gonna have forever. But long may it last, and long may things like this be used, enjoyed, and get out there to let those engines scream. That is it for now though. A huge thanks to the entire team here for the invitation to join today and to be able to share this experience with you. I am totally, totally mind blown and bamboozled. But that's it for now. It's time to go and chill out a bit, have a shower 
and reflect on what has been the most incredible of days. That's it for now though. Thank you very much as always for watching guys. I appreciate your support an awful lot and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.